We are just a few days away from Christmas friends and I didn't have much planned video wise for this week and I thought about not posting anything at all, but I thought I would just make a quick video kind of showing you a little glimpse of what Christmas looks like around our homestead and bring you along today as I make one of our Christmas morning traditions, which is monkey bread. Now, I'm not exactly sure when the tradition of making monkey bread started. It was some point during my childhood. It wasn't something that my parents did when they were growing up. But nonetheless, I'm gonna make that today for our family Christmas actually, which is tomorrow. And when we had it growing up, we always made it from just like those tubes of, you know, Pillsbury rolls that kind of come from the store. But obviously I don't, really buy those anymore. So I always just make it from scratch and I've made it both with biscuit recipes and with like a bread or a roll recipe and they're both good. But I decided today to just use a bread recipe. I will put a link in the description of this video to the one that I use. It's actually from Meg over at Holler Homestead. It's one of my favorite bread dough recipes because it's super, super versatile. I've used it to make sandwich loaves. I've used it to make baguettes or rolls or buns. It's just a great overall bread recipe. So that's what I'm mixing up and I'm actually gonna make a double batch because I wanna have a finished product to show you guys for this video. And then I wanna have a fresh monkey bread for our party in the morning. Now, I do not have a stand mixer. I had a KitchenAid professional grade one for a long time. Well, I guess I had it for about five years before I burned through the motor. And then we actually paid to have it repaired. And within a year I had burned through the motor again. So I have just kind of given up until I can invest in something a little bit more able to stand up to my level of baking apparently. So. I mix everything by hand, knead everything by hand, which is very messy, um, but it's just it is what it is. So I'm gonna mix up this dough and then actually split it into the two different loaves to rise separately since I'm gonna bake one up today and leave the rest for tomorrow. Now, something really exciting happened on the farm last week that I haven't shared with you guys yet. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw, but our livestock guardian dog, Chloe, actually had puppies. We were expecting her to deliver two weeks ago, but she finally went into labor last Thursday and it did not go how we expected, but all is well and we only have one baby male puppy that she is raising and being a great mom for. I'll share a little picture of him at the end of this video. We haven't decided yet if we're gonna keep him or if we're gonna sell him. I did not intend to keep any of the puppies that we had from this litter, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be outvoted by the rest of our family for what this little guy ends up doing. So. Uh, we'll have to think of a name, probably something Christmas themed if you have any ideas. But here we are just cutting the raised dough into little balls and then dipping it into some cinnamon sugar. Now, if you've had monkey bread before, you probably know it's really commonly baked in a bunt pan. And because I'm making two of them, I wanted to save my bunt pan for the loaf that I'm going to make tomorrow. So I decided to just make this one in a regular bread pan.
Another tip for making monkey bread is that it almost always bubbles over that caramely type sauce that you put on top. So make sure that you have some type of pan underneath it to catch it. Otherwise, you're going to have a big burning mess on the bottom of your oven. Now, at this point, I had everything kind of going to be a second rise while I went to milk before it went in the oven. Um, and I realized that I might have an issue with my pan decision because... I could not fit all of the sauce in it. I ended up having to pour some of it off. And then I went and milked and I came back and it had started to rise even more and was definitely overflowing out of the pan. But I decided to just go for it and cook it anyways. So it's not the prettiest loaf of monkey bread. It's still very delicious. It's still going to be eaten by my family as a little pre-Christmas snack. But if you're going to make this, probably do it in the actual bump pan so that it has enough space to rise without falling off of it. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I'm grateful for you and for following me here, and I will talk to you next time.